Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discussing about uh, relative locators in Selenium C# okay uh, basically this is released on selenium 4 onwards okay and starting time of selenium 4 they call it as a friendly locators then they change into relative locators okay this way uh, these are the locators which achieve that gives you more flexible to write the code and all in case uh, why these things are released is basically something there is a web element which is not presented okay there is no web element only the tag is presented then how we can able to achieve to write that one it's a very difficult right and we need to write for huge x path and all then only we can able to do it to do all the things to reducing that effort they created as a relative locators above in case that above element is don't have any attributes then use the below attribute and provide that. In case above is presented, below is not presented, use the below one. That left side, there is an element is presented, the label, by using the label, you can able to identify the text box. A right box is there and a label you want to achieve, then you can able to reuse that. And nearby is the surrounding, there is any 50 pixel of, the like a 50 pixel, uh, nearby it is presented, then it will identify and it will give that locators then how you can able to do it for this one okay and simple you can go to our selenium documentation location they are specified the list of information how you can able to achieve and all okay uh, locator strategy okay in that locator strategy they are providing for all the kind of information for the classes selectors and export link test partial link test tag names and everything they provided okay and then you can able to see the relative locators. Selenium 4 introduced this relative locators previously called as a friendly locators. This locator help to when it is not easy to co contacting any locators for the desired location, but easy to describe the specificity by using this particular locators. How it does work and they're providing for entire information here. And also they provided for some specific symboling type of things okay and also they provided for each language they provided for coding standard okay you can see for java you can see for python you can see for c sharp you can see for ruby javascript catalog okay any kind of thing you can able to capture it okay then how you can able to achieve this kind of locators you can come back to here i'll copy this locators one i'll paste it down Okay, I'll change into a four. Okay, now I'll remove my Google. I'll open for this one. Okay, now I'll remove this as well. And this is also, okay. Now we need to Take these options, okay. I want to capture this particular uh, locator. By using this locator, I want to use it. And I'm going to use for this now. I have already used this one, okay, coding creation. This particular attribute by using CSS selector, I copied it, okay. Now above concept, I want to use it. I'm copying this locator, okay, I'm pasting here, okay. Now I want to change them based upon my locator, relative locator and with the locator by tag name. Tag is above, tag name is basically input. If you inspect this one, it is the input of tag. Okay, above this is the tag, we need to use it, okay? Now I want to hit this one, okay? How you can able to do? The input tag is basically, it is presented, this is the above tag, okay? This is the above auction and here is we need to use for css selector concept okay now i'm removing this and i use i'm going to use for css selector and uh, inside this i'm going to use for this particular path okay now this is my path okay now it will ask you to provide one more to close yeah i closed it and my path is ready Okay, now by using this, now this input box is stored into the email locator 
element okay now how to pass it now i will go ahead here and driver dot a find element find element and here we are basically writing for by that css selector right and now i'm going to use for email locator directly i don't want to use for by that tag name or css selector anything i don't want to use directly i'm going to use for email locator then i'm going to use for send case and here i'm going to specifying for location okay i'm closing this one now okay and now if i'm going to test explorer and choosing for say uh, four and i'm running now you can see now text box location it is passed it okay this is the above one okay maybe you'll get it for one more question this also no this will track as a next to which one it is presented that one okay for this text box is a uh, next to this one that's why it will take as a left and right combination okay i'll show you in that as well coming soon now we are able to see that above action okay now we want to see for below action okay below action is basically you can able to say here text area next to email field is there okay email field is basically what is that this is the one called input tag only okay input tag only now i'm going to copy in this particular copy code okay and i'm going to make it here enter okay now i'll comment this one this one i'll make it as a below concept okay and uh, change this one into a right i'll increase in the text font size very small right okay now here same path it will work out and i'll copy up to here Okay, this is called below. Okay, same concept. I'm going to, you can see for location, the below concept. Okay, now again, I'm going to here, I'm running this. Now it will open for this one and it will see locus is entered. Okay, in the down now, if you see, okay above and below both the combination we are able to see now we need to see for to left and to right to left and to right how you can able to think it right now there are two things these two are you can able to use for these two okay any two of them you can able to use to left or to right and you can able to utilize this one now okay now i'm going to take as a x path now or placeholder i'll take Okay, I'm copying this one. I'll uh, paste it here. Okay, this is the left concept. Okay, now I'm going to use for left concept. Okay, for the left, this is the path, right? I'm copying this left concept and I'll come back here. I'll mention as comment this section and to left. Okay, this is my left concept and css selector okay and i'll copy the css selector here okay i'll mark into in this location okay now my css selector is ready okay and this selector purpose i'll copy paste it here and here i'm going to use for input tag name okay tag name is input okay tag name is input and left of css selector and last okay now this will left side which is the uh, thing is there input box that particular box it will hit and store the information okay now again i'm going to run and see this one 
See, the left box having for information, it is stored that information as a location, okay? Now, left also succeeded, okay? Now, we need to use for right concept, okay? For the right concept purpose, we need to use for the placeholder, which is presented for the first name, okay? Now, I'm going to take the first name value and I'll capture and I'll stir this particular information, okay? First one, and then we can come back down and this is the right one, right? And I enter to right, to right, and here is my, is basically input, okay? Now we are passing for left side value and then we are capturing for right side value to fill in purpose, okay? And now here in this place, first only we need to change short weekend. Copy this and change to CSS selector and uh, pasting this value and putting this submit buffer locator to here. Okay. Now this is my, and now we are finding first is what all this you're doing directly all the things and writing the path definitely will get the question mark again right now is basically above is basically we are finding by using this locator this is my exact location okay locator for this locator which is the locator is presented for above of input you have to fill it like this to left means first we are finding for left text box value and then which is the right box is presented that right box we are filling. Now here we are filling for right box value and means we are finding for right box right now and then which is the left box it is presented that left box we are going to fill in the value. Okay. Is it simple right? Now again we run it. Now write is filled up location. Okay. This way we can able to reduce the time also. It's an easy way to write it. Okay. Nearby also one is there. Nearby you can see if the relative position is not observation or it varies based on the window size. You can use the near method to identify any element that is almost 50 pixel. See last time also told you 50 pixel. Away from the providing locator, one greater use, you can use this particular form relative locator and you can able to hit it. Most of the time we can able to identify by using for labels. Labels are nothing but you can see here, email ID, email ID next 50 pixel, this is the one it is presented, you can able to fill. Or phone number label and you can able to use that label value and you can able to identify, okay. Or now this is the left and right also is a nearby 50 pixel only. You can able to use this particular text box and you can able to fill that as well. Okay. Anything is work, but you have to write the proper X path. Okay. Now you can say this is the one. If you take email ID, a label called email ID. Okay. Now I'll take as a... Uh, star two braces text equal to and single quotation i'm specifying see my one is there and next to 50 pixel there is a text box is presented we can able to take that as well okay now i'm going to take as a uh, text box value now i'll use for near concept and here I'm pasting this one and, and this is my X path and I'll take it here from my X path again and pasting inside this. Okay, now my X path is ready. And this next part, I'm going to use this particular emailing bus and I'll uh, send that text box, which is the email ID is presented, that particular value, it need to be stored. Okay. Now again, I'm running. So 
Sometimes it will work. This failed because it is 50 pixel is not able to find as expected here. X path. I guess the path is not able to find null reference. because it is not able to find that uh, nearby input box. Okay, this is basically it is separated with the two devs and it is formed as a group, but it is provided another concept. Okay, we'll see for this or else we can, this is basically a single side it is there. Okay, in the single dev. Okay, we can go ahead for this ID. Okay. Uh, ID. And here it is basically a button. Button is a tag name. Okay. Basically, that time I told you, right, the tag name identification and all, you can able to do like this also, okay? And uh, coming back here, it will click for clear and all. Once you click this one, automatically it will refresh, okay? You can see here, it will uh, find Again, it is failed for near. Okay, sorry. Here it is, send case I mentioned here. Click functionality. Click functionality. Because we need to use to click. I think near is not working as expected. I tag and near. ID, but near is not working as expected. Uh, remaining two things we used. A number four runtime. Method invoke, but uh, it is taking less time. The object reference is not able to find it. Nearby is not working as expected for, and we can take as a path. Can see this one for being. Yes, I select the and I'm specifying this value. Okay. And then you can use it here. Basically, it will work out. I'm not sure why it is not working for now. Sorry, it's a text box.
something happened for near actually near locator is not working as expected with that okay i'll check this uh, nearby and i'll come back okay and also chain relative locator is there and you can able to use this locator it's a chaining type like uh, if there is any above locator is presented and then uh, that particular above locator there is a left corner uh, we saw right uh, above locator when we use the above locator for this particular concept in the above locator when we take this one and we tried this one to fill it okay after filling the above locator there is a left corner is there okay here it is there a right okay you can change the right path okay left you can change it to right to left and you can pass, provide the css selector to hitting your locator okay automatically it will fill that okay try it to your end if it is provided uh work as expected and provide and comment in case if it is not work as expected then also you can provide some error message which you are getting i'll uh, try to provide you the locator as well okay i hope it this entire information help for you thank you for watching and please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues thank you